Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant, powered by Come On Now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomont, and I got another rant for you today. But before we jump on in, thank you so much for your continued support of our channel as we keep higher with our subscribers. Um, we greatly appreciate you. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. Also, be sure to become a member <clears throat> of the Come On Now, the podcast family. Greatly appreciate you. Let's jump on another topic at hand. Ronnie James has been officially sent to the G League. I, I got to say, I'm actually surprised. I'm actually surprised they had some stones to not kiss LeBron James's ass for the duration of the season and keep an unearned spot with Bron- for Bronny James up with the big roster. I mean, they did manage to throw him into some games um, for which he was playing ahead of guys that are better than him. And, you know, even being po- tossed in as a 10th man. You know, it, 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 the whole thing was a big ass gimmick, a big ass clown show, a big circus. <clears throat> You're seeing problems already with the Lakers where J.J. Reddick's already having temper tantrums with the media as the Lakers are four and four after starting off three and oh on the season. The whole thing was a circus, though. They, they made sure they got him in the, in the first game and he played a couple more. I mean, he, apparently he took down they took down the net for him. After he made his one uh, basket against the the Cavs in a game they got blasted in, but I guess that's all sweet. And LeBron with his little tears of nonsense on the sideline, even though he's already played with him, I I, I, th- I found the whole thing contrived and ridiculous. It's all fabricated nonsense. It's not real. But but y'all bought it. You know, so many so many of y'all bought this crap hook, line, and sinker. Oh, it's so sweet. Oh my God, LeBron has so much power that he can actually make this happen. Get the hell out of here. This is a team <clears throat> that's gonna go 500, and they wasted a they wasted a, a freaking spot on on someone who's just not good and not any good. You know, he, hell, he's not even any good. He's not even good enough for the G League team. But he he's on the roster, making eight million dollars over four years. And it's reported now that he will go down to the G League on Saturday, even and, and yet he'll remain on the roster today for their game against the Philadelphia 76ers. I guess they, I, I maybe maybe they plan on playing him again one more time. And then the reports are that the tickets for this nonsensical G League stuff are through the roof now because Bronny's Bronny will be there. I, I've never. I, I've never seen anything like this in, in in professional basketball. I find it very very sad that this is where we have come we have gone to, and what it's come to. You know, Brian was never good enough to get drafted. He was never good enough to turn, even even enter the draft. He wasn't good enough to play college basketball at the time that he did. He wasn't good enough as a freshman at USC to be on the floor there. Yet they have gone out of their way over and over and over again to to appease people. I I just I find it pathetic. I find it sad. And, and um, you know, it, it, it just, what was the whole purpose? What was the purpose of this? What was the purpose of making sure that LeBron got a chance to play with Bronny when none of it is real? Like, how can you, how can one look back on something and say, what an accomplishment when we all knew that this wasn't an accomplishment. This was a manufactured, artificial moment. It was not real. It just wasn't. He's played in three games of their eight. How he got on the floor in three games. How many times do you see the 12th man on a team get on the floor? Well, I'm sorry, 12th man on the active roster get on the floor of a game of a game. In eight, and when they've only played eight games, they've only played eight games, but he's played in three of them. I don't care if it's been for five minutes. You don't see the 12th man on the active roster playing three games in eight games. It doesn't happen very often unless you're getting blown out or you're Bronny James or a combination of both. It's just a very, very weird situation. And now here's the question. Is he going to come up and flip-flop back and forth between the G League and the Lakers? Right now, he play, he's played 3.2 minutes per game. He's averaged one point per game. He has a 16.7 shooting percentage. 
I mean, at what uh, this isn't a pro. This isn't a pro at any professional level. He's not good. He's not good. You guys got hoodwinked about one preseason game that they lost by damn near 60. And I, I, I'm just, and you, and you run with it. He has one good summer league game and you run with it. And you make that as the, as the norm and not the outlier. You know, is he a bad basketball player amongst normal people? No, but these aren't normal people. These are professionals. These are the best in the world. These are the best in the world. So are they going to manage to jam him into the game again tonight before he goes? I mean, it says they officially demote him. I'm actually shocked that they went this direction. I'm surprised that LeBron allowed this to happen. You know, I'm surprised that this this was allowed to even happen. They, they say the plan was to move him between the Lakers and the South Bay, which has always been the plan since day one. But wasn't this the guy that LeBron said was better than the half the league when this kid was in high school? Wasn't this the guy that his daddy said was better than his teammates last year? Like, this is the same player, right? I'm sorry, but if this doesn't expose credibility issues as to the opinion of talent, I I don't know what does. LeBron looks silly. He looks silly. He looks like he has no clue of what talent really is. I think we know that because he's been the worst GM in NBA history. He never seems to have any idea who to bring onto his teams because we know he's made all the decisions. <clears throat> but yeah, this is a uh, yeah, this is ridiculous, you know. And and this is what LeBron said uh, in September. He's just just looking forward to seeing him continue to grow as a basketball player, no matter if he's here with us or gets down with the G League team, and him continue to get better and better and better. But you said he was better than your your teammates last year, bro. Do you remember that? You were said he was better than half these cats I'm watching on the G League. I mean, I'm, I'm on um on NBA League Pass. You remember that too? You said a lot of stuff. So this whole idea that he's going to be in the G League is rather ridiculous because you said he was better than all these people. If he's better than all these people, why is he in the G League? We know why, because he's trash. And your whole entire moment was an, an artificially fabricated, fraudulent, contrived nonsense. It was fake, fugazi. And you can stand by it forever and ever, but it was fake and everyone knows it. It cannot have any real meaning when it was manufactured. Manufactured stuff has no meaning. Just like his manufactured draft class, I mean, draft pick. It's no meaning. But hey, you got your you got your moment, and now your son can toil in the dub in in the G League. Now he can toil there, and I guess you'll bring him back up when you feel like it, and when you realize that he's still not. I mean, you, when he's not, when you realize he's still not good enough, you'll send him right back. I, I I don't know, but yeah, Ronnie James going to the G League. Have fun, Ronnie. Have fun. Let's see what he does against a bunch of players that are still better than him. I'm looking forward to seeing what he's producing amongst guys that are still better than him because those guys are all still better than him. That's all I got. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, ring that bell. Before, be sure to also jump on over to Rudy's Rant. Subscribe over there to my new channel as well as, of course, over here where you catch me all the time. I appreciate y'all. Have a good one. Come on now.